Members, I, uh, this is not a speech, by the way. I'm not going to read that. A couple of notes. I want to uh, take this opportunity to first of all say thank you for your kindness that, that you just expressed to Dana and me. Uh, we, uh, we are expecting a baby on May the 27th, which is my birthday. So we're very excited about that. But I also want to take this point to thank my wife since she's here. Make sure she's paying attention to me. <laughs> I'm like every one of you with a spouse. I would not be anything without my wife. I wouldn't have had the courage to run for office. Certainly wouldn't have won. Wouldn't have had the courage and, and fortitude to, to run for this position that you've been so kind to, to let me serve. None of it would have happened without you, sweetheart. I love you. going over some notes from the uh, remarks I made at the beginning of the session. I'm trying to collect my thoughts on what it is that we set out to do in this session. I looked at the, the little speech that I made and there were three things that I said that, that I hoped we could accomplish something on the three categories. Education, economic development, and health care. In education, I talked about the need to not just meet our constitutional duty to provide an adequate and equitable education, but to exceed it. Well, we did that. I said we needed to do everything we could to support our teachers. And despite what the naysayers were saying, and despite what some of the folks uh, who look at the numbers for us, Representative Malik, were saying, they said we can't find any money to help teacher insurance. Well, by golly, we found $15 million ongoing revenue to put into our teacher insurance program. And let me tell you what, that would not have happened without the dogged determination and stubbornness of Representative Bill Abernathy. Thank you. In terms of economic development, we are losing jobs in the state of Arkansas, and, and I had set out a, a goal for us to do everything we could to help us be more competitive. We've done several things that will help in that area. We've referred to the voters a constitutional amendment that will put us on a level playing field with all these states we compete with to bring jobs to Arkansas. We've cut the sales tax that manufacturers pay on their energy costs, something that they told us would help them save jobs. And we've made investments in the high-tech, knowledge-based jobs of the future for the state of Arkansas. So you know what? We did that too. We set out an ambitious health care agenda. We got this on the agenda first. Thank goodness we did. We got it out of the way. But thanks to the work that this General Assembly did, 200 people next year are going to live that would have died because we didn't have a trauma system. We're going to have a trauma system. We're going to have community health centers that are going to be open next year because of what we did. We're going to have our senior citizens that will be at home receiving their care instead of in a nursing home next year. So we did that. We can check health care off of our list of accomplishments. And there are many others. There are many other things that we set out to do. And we did them. I'm proud of that. You should be proud of that. You should be proud of what we did. But I'll tell you what I'm proud of. Stuff. I'm proud of the way we did it. I stood here on the first day and said I wanted us to commit ourselves to equality and fairness, where everyone has equal access to the legislative process. I didn't say everybody's going to get an equal result. Every one of us have lost on a bill this session, even me, several times. But we've all had equal access to this process. We've all had fair hearings in front of the appropriate committee and when warranted an up or down vote. And like Tim Massanelli said the other day, all you need around here is votes. 
We talked about statesmanship and how dignity and decorum should govern our relationships with each other. Well, we've had our moments. We're like a family sitting around the dinner table arguing about religion and politics. You've been there before with your families. I see some, some knives. We're just like that. But you know what? We got through it because of the statesmanship that you exhibited. We talked about leading by example and how we ought to do everything we can to bring credit to this institution and nothing to bring shame upon this house. And you've done that. I want to read you something that I said. That's why I have this paper here just so I get this right. Said that it was my goal that we come together in this chamber and write our own page in our state's history. That on the last day of the session, You'll walk out of those doors with your head held high, knowing you were in the right place at the right time, and you made the most of your God-given talents and abilities. That we not only do something, we accomplish something by doing the right things the right way. Well, folks, I couldn't be prouder of the things we've done. We have done the right things. I couldn't be prouder of the way we've done it because we've done it the right way. And you know what? The only do-nothing in this chamber is the one I'm holding in my hand. You did something, you accomplished something, and you got it done. Thank you.